Saka Fetch YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Let's cook with me from start to finish. Hello my darlings, so first things first, on the menu we have some delicious jollof fries. I'm gonna be roasting some red peppers that I will be using in my jollof fries. I saw this tip from Nanaba's kitchen a few weeks back and it has been my go-to jollof fries recipe from since then. Once my peppers have been roasted on all sides, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it open, remove all the seeds and then I'm gonna chop it small to go in my food processor. I'm also gonna be adding in some red onions as well as some tomato puree. I prefer adding my tomato puree to my food processor to blend with the peppers as I find it really helps give that nice rich red color that jollof rice is known for. However, some people like to fry their tomato puree in oil, but that's not for me, okay? So to a pot, I'm adding in some oil and some white onions. I'm gonna let it fry for about two to three minutes and then I'm gonna go in with my blended pepper mix. After you've mixed it in well, cover it up for about 5 minutes and then you want to stir it again. I'm using a non-stick pot, however, even if you are using a non-stick pot, make sure to stir it every now and again so that it doesn't burn or stick to the pot, okay? So now I'm just going to go ahead and season my blended pepper mix. You can use whatever you like, but I'm going to use some bay leaves, some curry powder, salt, thyme, all-purpose seasoning, and just give it a really good mix. Cover it up for about 5 minutes and then I'm gonna go in with some of my vegetable stock. I'm using vegetable stock as you know you can choose to keep this vegan friendly and not use any chicken stock or beef stock however it makes it so flavorful so just use whatever stock you prefer. I'm now going in with my rice. I'm cooking about three cups of rice so I'm gonna have about three and a half cups of liquid in the pot. Make sure to wash your rice before adding it into the pot and give it a good mix. Once my rice has been added to the pot, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick stir, cover it up for 5 minutes and come back and stir it. I will be stirring this up at least every 10 minutes or so so that it doesn't burn. And yes my darlings, this is what's going to steam the rice. Be mindful about adding too much liquid in there. And while my rice was steaming, I'm working on some salmon. I'm using this Spice Jamaica seasoning. You can check him out on Instagram at Spice Jamaica. The seasoning is absolutely amazing. This is the only seasoning I will be using on the salmon and make sure to season it on both sides. After I've seasoned it, I'm gonna pat it dry and I'm gonna fry it lightly in some butter and oh my goodness, guys, editing this makes me want to make salmon all over again. It was so, so good.
After I seasoned my salmon, I pan fried it in a little bit of butter for about 6 to 8 minutes. I let it cook for about 3-4 minutes on both sides and then after about 3-4 minutes, I flipped it over. Look at how delicious it looks. Guys, this looks absolutely amazing. So, so good. And uh, yes, this was just insanely delicious. Let it cook and then don't forget to check on your jollof rice as well because I like to cook as I go along and check my pots in between. I don't cook one dish at a time. I tend to make all of them together. However, for the purpose of this video, I'm just showing you guys step by step. Now, this was my jollof rice all done. Look at how amazing it looks. So rich. The color is so gorgeous. I'm gonna mix it up one last time and then just still cover it up so that any greens that are not cooked can cook. You know my meals are not complete without a little veg so in a pot i'm just gonna go ahead and steam a little carrot and broccoli with a little butter and all-purpose seasoning cover that up and yes my darlings this takes less than 10 minutes to steam and cook and i'm just gonna toss it in the butter and make sure the all-purpose seasoning has coated every piece of that veg and yes it's time to plate up so going with a generous amount of your jollof rice that looks absolutely amazing i'm putting a healthy portion of the veg on the side and to top it off that gorgeous salmon wow so so beautiful i really hope you enjoy this easy cook with me try the recipe soon and let me know how you like it it has been a pleasure having you here in my kitchen and i will see you again in my next one thank you so very much for watching bye bye